Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I just bought a huge collection from a guy. Uh, some really good stuff, so I'm going to jump right into it so the video won't be too long because i got a lot of stuff to show you. So, um, uh, Wednesday, I was sitting at my desk at work and I get a call from a guy saying that he had a ton of records and he was moving and he needed to get rid of them. So, um, I drove out to his house. He said he had about, he told me he had 4,000. I got to his house, he ended up having about 3,000. Um, but he had, he had a big shelf in the living room full of records, and then he had um, all these boxes out in the living room that he had had. He said they were under his bed. Um, and then he had a huge shelf in his bedroom full of records. So, kind of started looking through, um, and the guy, you know, asked him about himself, you know, um, where he got them from, if it was his collection, whatever. It's important to know those things when you're buying a big collection because if they bought it from somebody else, um, then, they, then they don't know much about it. Then you know they could have picked out the good th stuff for themselves and then this is all the junk. Or if um, it's important to know if someone's looked through it already. Usually you can tell. Um, but uh, you know, I asked if anybody had skimmed through it and pulled anything out. He said no. Usually if that happens, I always pass because if all the good stuff's gone... You know, it's not worth it carrying the stuff and all that. So, um, looked at him. There's a ton of great stuff in there. And so I was like, hey, man, you know, um, what do you want for the whole thing? Because I like to buy everything. Um, you know, I do, I do the pop-up shop. So, you know, even though what I like to pull out is really good stuff, like, you know, Bob Dylan and uh, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Grateful Dead, Jimi Hendrix, David Bowie, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I like to get because it's easy to sell. Uh, it's worth a good bit, but a lot of people like Phil Collins and Eagles and, um, you know, <clears throat> Journey and all that stuff. A lot of people love that stuff, and so they're, people are looking for it again. So I like to get all that stuff, but this, this, um, th this was a good solid collection. It had a, just a, a, a bunch of really, really good stuff. It, it, it didn't have any junk. There's almost no dollar bin type stuff in here. So anyways, so... Uh, you know, we, we agreed on a price, uh, so he threw in two turntables and 3,000 records. So this is what I got. Um, like I said, you know, th there is some dollar bin stuff in here, but there, uh, for the majority uh, of them, I would say, uh, is between the 5 and $10 range stuff, um, you know, pr pretty decent stuff. Everything's pretty clean for the most part. You know, he said that they were his collection. There's a bunch of sealed stuff. Um... And so there's, you know, there's, there's a few really rare ones in there that I want to show you guys. So there's some really cool stuff in here. So I'm going to start it off and show you the really good stuff at first and then kind of go on and show the rest of it. So the coolest one I found in here was this record. This is called Dry Water. Um, this is a hard rock record and it's local. It's from North Carolina. Um, I think it's from Gastonia. Uh, but this is just, a, as soon as I pulled it out, um, I could tell it was private press, which private press can either be really good or really lame. Um, in this case, it's really good. This is hard rock, uh, 19, early 1970s. But, um, you know, private press, if you're not familiar with that term, it's just a, a, a small record label that didn't put out a whole lot of stuff, nothing like Columbia or Electra or RCA or anything like that. So this is a small label, um, and... Uh, I put this on, listened to it, really liked it, really enjoyed it. Um, kind of looked up what they were going for and was my jaw hit the floor. Um, these go between like four and six hundred dollars. So, um, and this is in really good shape. So I, I'll definitely probably sell that. <laughs> you know, if I can find the right guy for it. This one shocked me that I found this in there. This is Lenny Kravitz. Are you gonna go my way? This is an original press on uh, clear vinyl. So that's really nice. This comes with a CD also that comes, it's like um, the the LP comes in the first sleeve and then it has a, a gatefold cover. And then on the second part, there's supposed to be a CD in here, but they're hardly ever in there. And dadgummit, it's not there. So it's kind of disappointing, but it has the poster with it and everything, which I have, I have a copy of this already, but it doesn't have the poster. I really like the early... Uh, Lenny Kravitz stuff. So that was really cool. I was kind of surprised when I found that because the majority of this stuff is classic rock. Um, so that was kind of surprising. This one is uh, Sugar Creek. 
Uh, this is a live album, and this is a test pressing. You can see that label right there. So that's cool. Um, this one's uh, this one's really neat. This is Earl Owensby. Um, it's, it's called uh, Earl's Classic Rock and Country. Um, and this one, if anyone has any information about this, I would love to hear it. I've looked all over the internet. can't find anything on this. Um, I know Earl uh, Owensby is a film guy. He's like a producer. Um, but he did some stuff with like David Allen Coe and country music stuff. Like he, he produced some country music, I think. Anyways, so I found this album and I was like, that's really neat. It looks interesting. Um, it's on CMC Records, which is on Old Monroe Road here in Charlotte, which is really cool. But what's cool is it says David, lots of love, Earl Owensby. So that's his autograph. I looked it up and that's what his autograph looks like. So, um, you know, I'm not an expert or anything, but it looks legit to me. Um, so, I, I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's autographed by him. Um, this record, I literally can't find a copy of this on Pop Psych, Discogs, anything. Have no idea what, you know, I, I know other Earl Owensby records that have his name on it are worth quite a bit. So I'd be interested to know a little bit about that if anybody has any information. This is a Back to the Future original soundtrack. These always go really well. People love these. This is my favorite soundtrack probably. I, I love, I mean, I grew up on Back to the Future, watched it, um, since I was a kid, absolutely love it. This is a sealed copy, which is really neat. Um, I found these Bob Marley albums. These are sealed copies as well. And this, these are um, on Tough Gong. I believe these are late 80s pressings. Still cool that they're still sealed, though. So that's um, Babylon by Bus, so Tough Gong. This one is uh, Survival on Tough Gong. This one's Natty Dread. Um, stuff gong as well. And so I guess they did some sort of I don't know, late 80s type of press on that one. Um, and then this is just kind of cool, quiet right picture disc. Uh, there's a couple other picture discs in here I noticed as well. And then this is an original um, Rolling Stone sticky fingers uh, with a really nice zipper on it. Just uh, those usually when I find them, they're, they're beat up, the zipper's gone, all, all that stuff. So, you know, you find them every once in a while, but it's kind of cool. So those are some standouts from the collection, just real briefly. There's a ton of really good stuff in here, uh, and, but those I thought I thought I'd show you at first. So those are, that's more exciting things. So um, I'm gonna take you through and just kind of show you. I'm not gonna show you everything because that would take all day for you because it's a ton of stuff. But uh, check it out. All right. So this stack right here, I'm gonna take you through that here in a second. This is like um, kind of better stuff: Doors, Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, stuff like that. This stuff is all still sealed, and there's a ton more stuff still sealed in here, but this is the rest of it. Um, this is a lot. <laughs> so if you can see all that back there, I'm not gonna take you through all of it like I said, cause it's a lot of stuff, but check that out. Um, kinda overwhelmed to be honest, there's just so much to go through. Um, and I've not even, I don't even know that I've seen it all yet, so. Anyways, so there's a strange days. It's a nice shape. Depeche Mode. Got some else. This is not the Professor John track. It's still sealed. Soup Dragons. That's a 90s album. This is still sealed on clear vinyl. It's pretty cool. Skinner. Halloween soundtrack. Got some more pretty cool soundtracks. Zablan. Thin Lizzy Scorpions. This is a uh, Thin Lizzy Maxi single. It's on Vertigo. It's pretty cool. Bowie. This Rick Bowles is kind of rare. This is such good. Uh, Peter Green, Aerofleet, and Mac. Love that. This is a uh, Warrior Scandal picture disc. Arlo. Everybody loves Queen right now. I wonder why. I guess it's that movie. Def Leppard, Kiss. There's a lot of metal stuff in here. Um, that's a bad company you don't see too often. The Gilmore. This is a really cool electric light orchestra one. But who cares? Janice. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see this. This is cool Jimi Hendrix. This is a really cool, uh, psych compilation. It's got, um, 
Eleven spoonful. Uh, leaves. You got stand ales. Uh, seeds. Count five. Cannibal and the Headhunters. Tommy James happenings. Pretty cool. Got some really cool soundtracks in here. Grateful Dead. Rush. This Guy Clark I'm so excited about. I'm keeping that. Been looking for some Guy Clark. Tesla. That's a... Um, yep. Look, Roger Waters. Solo. Um, this is a regional kiss. A really nice original Grateful Dead. Well, it's not it's not really nice, but it's it's pretty cool. Uh, some more essentials there. All right, this is the sealed stuff right here, um, and there's way more sealed stuff in all that. But uh, this is what I pulled out so far. Some of it's lame. Some of it's kind of cool. This Debbie here is kind of cool. It's got a price tag at 25 cents. So uh, Surf Punks. That's worth a little bit. That's pretty cool. Dr. Hook Live, Fog Hat, Romantics. This is a really neat Nebworth compilation of some live shows. You can see Pink Floyd's in there. Paul McCartney, Phil Collins, Dark Strait, stuff like that. Alabama, Dana Ross. So, some of this stuff's kind of lame. This is Roger Daltrey. It's like super cheesy and awesome. Uh, Andy Summers, Stevie Nicks, and Parker. So, I mean... Like I said, some of us, some of us cool, some of us kind of lame. Um, over here, I'll rotate. It's just all over the place. Um, this is some some decent stuff in here. I'm like, I'm just going through randomly here. Some Kiss, Van Morrison, uh, like this kind of stuff is is pretty good. People love it. I love it. Um, but just you know, all out. there's some weird stuff in here, like this Britney Spears. <laughs> Uh, but it's a lot of like, you know, really cool classic rock stuff. Um, like this. This is autographed. Here's some autographed stuff. A uh, good bit of Tom Petty in here, which is nice. Don Henley. Some Springsteen. There's some older stuff, but a lot of the stuff is like 80s metal, which you're not seeing right now, but there's a lot of that in here. Fleetwood Mac, Eagles. Um, you know, so, um, go to this one. Boston, it's Betsy's like a, it's like a metal type deal. This is a cool soundtrack. Look at that. <laughs> uh, Nazareth, this, there's a few Japanese pressings in here. It's Night Ranger. Um, Alice Cooper, Must of Love. Fragile. So, just, you know, some basic classic rock and hard rock type stuff in here. And then some, like, Elvis and lame stuff, too. So, um, not to say that Elvis is lame, but I know a lot of guys don't care to see it. So, this is, uh, you know, it's all over the place. As you can see, it's just a good mix of stuff that's all over the place. So... So here's the whole deal one more time, one last shot so you can see it one more time. It's 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 quite a lot. So you guys, uh, let me know what you think. I'm excited about it, but also a little bit overwhelmed. Also, I forgot to mention to you guys that this guy lived on the third floor of an apartment building. So I had to carry all of this down by myself. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Just want to make this video super quick, and I didn't want to go through every last record to show you whatever was what, what was in there. But uh, the examples I gave you are pretty good ones. That's, that's what's in there. But um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I love your comments. Um, and, uh, you know, when you buy a collection like this, sometimes it's not all great stuff. Sometimes it's not all rare, crazy psych and jazz and all the stuff you guys like to see. But, hey, it's a collection. It's got some cool stuff in there. So, um, talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.